Good morning, my name is Kim Carlisle. We have a shop full of high Z glassware. We're located just north of Indianapolis, Indiana, and our shop is open at this time by appointment only. You might get a pencil and paper handy. You are gonna need it this morning for our email address, as well as all the items that we're gonna have for sale. Today's video is in celebration of our 100 videos on YouTube. We started about April 7th last year, and we're now exceeded 100 videos. So today's video is gonna be everything that we've put on the table outside of this shop is gonna be $100 per item. So I don't have to tell you what the price is. Everything is $100 a piece. So if you're ready, we're gonna go right to the email address. Again, my name is Kim Carlisle. Email address is the letter K, C-A-R-L-I-S-L at A-T-T -T dot N-E-T. Please note there's no E on the end of Carlisle on our email address. Give you a quick little preview of our shop. We have pieces priced in here from a few dollars up to several thousand dollars. If you see anything you're interested in today, you need to call, text, or email. If you have a collection for sale or no one's, know of someone that has good quality items for sale, we're always interested in purchasing glass, especially high Z. So if you're ready, I'm gonna back right out of this room and we're gonna show you a brief preview of what is on the table today. And remember, everything is $100 per piece. Your best avenue to get a piece today is when you call or text or email, say you wanna purchase an item. If you just say you're interested in an item, that will not hold it for you. You have to say you wanna buy it. So we're gonna get started right back here in the corner. The first piece we have is a is a bonnet basket. They made these in two sizes, nine, 11 inches size. It's about 14 inches tall. What's significant about this, it has Heise's cloister cutting on it. Heise's cloister cutting was putting on a whole range of items. And here it is on the bonnet basket with the large diamond H in the center of the bottom. Now, I don't need to tell you anymore, but everything is just a hundred dollars a piece. Here's a charter oak comport in Moonglane with diamond optic bowl. We have a peerless decanter, hard to find, has an original stopper in it, perfectly clear on the inside, has little pleats going all the way around the bottom. Putney and Diamond Point molasses can, and it has the original little flipper right here on the lid. It's in good shape, it's clean on the inside. Have a pair of Whirlpool, two light candle holders with this magnificent ball right here in the center of it. And I believe each one of them is signed in the middle of the bottom. White flat panel cologne bottle with a very pretty little cutting on each and every panel and it has a matching cutting on the top. Clean on the inside. Speaking of clean on the inside, here's a crystallite perfume bottle. Has a long dripper, which is very difficult to find. Here we have a Duquesne goblet with Bonticelli cutting. I'm gonna show you a picture of the inside. If you look on the inside of it, it looks like a spider web. This is all cut by hand on the outside. This has the original Heise sticker on it, as well as original factory label on the bottom. Excellent piece. Here we have a pin pickle or a large lavender jar. Each panel is cut with a different flower or a fern-like etching. It's cut all the way around the outside and with the matching cutting on top. Good and clean on the inside, marked in the center of the bottom. Have several animals today. Here's a rabbit paperweight. Good shape, stands up straight, has a full cut bottom, and it does turn yellow under the black light. All of our animals today will fluoresce yellow under the black light. Here's a sherry decanter with the ever popular orchid etching on it. Original stopper, clean on the inside. Here's an atom, that's the name of the pattern, of the actual stem, it's an atom goblet, has atom etching on it. Diamond optic bowl, of course it has the atom etching, and it's all in flamingo. Very unusual piece. Here we have a cup and saucer and empress. Here's the saucer, here's the cup, and if you notice this cup isn't the normal cup you see with the cup and saucer. This cup has a foot on it, and rather than have the fleur de lis design empress around the top edge, it has it down about halfway on it. So this is actually a variant of the empress pattern. We'll just set that down there. Then we have a Creole little shot glass in Alexandrite diamond optic. Okay, we have a beaded swag molasses. It's got the original little flipper on top of it. It has this wonderful hand painted decoration going all the way around it. 
Here we have a Jamestown bell with a minuetette. You can see as it sits on the table this way, all the figures are upright. If it was made out of another piece, the figures would be upside down when it sat on the table. The way they made these bells, they made them out of clarets. They took a diamond pin, drill, and they drilled a hole through the bottom of it and put a post up in it with a piece of plaster to hold it in there. Nice little bell, all original. Minuet etching. Here's a Yeoman, four ounce cologne, and it does have the ever popular Windsor cutting. You'll find Windsor cutting on a lot of items. It was popular around 100 years ago, about 1915. It does have the long dripper with the ball on the bottom of it. Here's another piece, it's clean on the inside. It's a, it's a uh, Yeoman cologne. It has cut stopper on it. It has cutting all the way around the middle, color all the way around the bottom, then it has a cut, it's cut star on the bottom. It's clean on the inside and it's good to go. Has a little roughness right here on the bottom. If you want me to take that out, I can before I ship it to you. Here we have an orchid etched bell in triolian pattern. On this one, if you look closely, you can see the little post where they drilled a hole up through the middle of it. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Here's a plateau vase, diamond optic, has the ribs on the outside of it, ground polished panel on the bottom, and flamingo. We have two of these for the price of one. They're Old Glory Saucer Champagnes, and look at the cutting on it. It's just a magnificent, very elaborate, intricate cutting on it, on the bowl and on around the foot. They're getting two of these for $100. Pillows, large, footed, comport. Has a ruffled edge going all the way around it. No damage whatsoever, it is good to go. Caswell Sugar Shaker in Hawthorne. Nice color on this one. It has a diamond optic, has an original top to it. Yoma Perfume Bottle with very delicate little hand-painted flower decoration. Just wonderful condition. Does have a little bit of gold wear around the top of it. And it has a short drop, short stopper in it. Nice decoration around the bottom also. Old Sandwich Cruet in, in Sahara. Clean on the inside. Half circle, creamer and sugar and moon gleam. Yeoman puff box has a nice little cutting going all the way around the top and it's signed in the middle of the bottom. Wampum cigarette box, lid and base. Everything's in good shape, including the corners. Heisey was in the politics and when Langdon ran for president back in the 1930s, Heisey had his a uh, picture put on a plate and some other items that says elect Landon, save America. Nice political item on a revere plate. Here's a steel rose bowl, flamingo, diamond optic. Has a cut panel on the bottom, which you always find on those pieces. We have two giraffes. Here's a giraffe with the head back. And we have another giraffe with the head turned to the side. They do fluoresce under the black light. Here's a small one pint cobalt cocktail shaker with orchid etch on it. It has a stopper and strainer and everything's good to go. Here's an urn bud vase with rose etching on it. It's about eight inches tall. Here's a new era claret with a cobalt blue bowl. And it has a very, very, I mean a very tiny little nick right there on the edge that I can just barely feel with my fingernail. But it is there. 20th century Dawn milk pitcher. Wing scroll emerald green toothpick holder with fair gold going around it. Empress flamingo mustard lid. And best of all, it has a flamingo spoon and the spoon is marked. The spoon's worth $100 all by itself, if not more. We don't have a mother swan, but we have the baby, which is called a signet. Again, turns yellow under a black light. Number 57, duck ashtray. You put your cigarette here, you put your book of matches on the bottom, and you let your ash go in the middle, signed in the middle. Does have a ground bottom, does have wear on that ground bottom, but it's just there. Now we have a Waverly. Waverly two-handled ice tub with orchid etching on it. Signed in the middle of the bottom. We showed you a giraffe with the head back. This giraffe has the head going to the side or to the right this time. 
have a frosted donkey, turns yellow under the black light, stands up straight. And as well as that frosted donkey, we have a frosted mallard with the wings down. These frosted ones are really harder to find than the crystal ones are. Then we have another fish item. It is a fish match holder. This is made just to put matches in. Has a original sticker on the bottom. Now we have a three pound recessed panel candy jar. This candy jar, if you look closely, it has this beautiful intaglio grapes and leaves cut all the way around the top. It's cut on every other panel, as well as a lid is cut on every other panel. Have a plantation footed cake plate. Stands up straight, it doesn't lean one way or the other. It has a well on the inside, so you can put a butt cake or an angel food cake and the drippings can go down the inside. Slight amount of wear on it. Very pretty piece. Twist, moon gleam, handle, ice bucket. Has a hammer and aluminum top, probably silver at one time. It's a brass or, or copper or something bleeding through now. It's marked in the center of the bottom. Wabash cordial with Pied Piper design etched on the bowl of it. Here we have a very unusual salt and peppers. You may say, yes, they're plantation, but you don't see what's unusual about them. What's unusual about them? They don't have pineapples on them. When Heise first made this salt and pepper shaker, these were the prototypes they came out with, and they did not have the pineapples on them. And then they reworked the mold and they put the pineapples on them. They do have plastic little tops. Everything's good to go about them. So that concludes our items for today. If you see anything you're interested in, just remember, everything is just $100 a piece. Call, text, or email. Let us know you're interested in them. And remember, folks, we don't want to make any money. We just love to sell high Z glassware.